Sushi, a Japanese food that is a staple in the American diet and a true culinary enigma. It's so healthy yet so dangerous and of course trendy as ever. Join us as we take a look at the good, the bad, and the fads that sushi has brought to the table. Sushi's ingredients appear to be every physician's dream. The fish and rice are naturally low in fat, high in protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. In particular, shrimp is high in calcium and iodine, whereas salmon is rich in vitamin D. Most seafood is usually high in omega-3, which helps the cardiovascular system. Sushi seems like it would be the ideal meal, and it would be if it weren't for its toxic tendencies. Oftentimes, raw fish are infected with parasites and other forms of perilous poisons, in particular a fish called fuju. If not prepared properly, the raw fish could be lethal. It is said that the Emperor of Japan is forbidden to eat fuju as it's too dangerous. But while there may be some risk, the raw fish in sushi is generally clean, frozen, and thus safe to eat. There is no doubt that sushi has become very shishi in American culture. LA started the American trend in the 70s as it is an acceptable form of diet food that looked and tasted great. Today not much has changed. Sushi's low fat ingredients attract many who wish for thin physique, especially celebrities. A look around LA's top Japanese restaurants will assure a star spotting. While some types of sushi are considered delicacies and extremely expensive, it's a dish that's accessible to most Americans. It is seen everywhere from the finest restaurants to high school cafeterias. It's amazing how a Japanese food nearly 2,000 years old could be so ubiquitous in our current society.